Hi everyone, welcome back to Medition, your trusted medical information channel. I'm Dr. Lin, a board certified allergist and immunologist. Today, we're diving into five key things you need to know about Ibrus, one of the newest biologic therapies for moderate to severe ergotic dermatitis. If you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe for more evidence-based medical insights. Now, let's dive in. First, what exactly is Ibrus? Also known by its generic name, Labrikizumab, Eglis is an FDA-approved injectable biologic for adults and adolescents aged 12 and older who weigh at least 40 kilograms. It's approved for treating moderate to severe atopic dermatitis that is not adequately controlled with topical prescription therapies or when those therapies are not advisable. Approved in September 2024, Eglis joins a growing class of targeted immune modulators offering a more precise way to manage atopic dermatitis. It can be used with or without topical medications to provide long-term control of this chronic and often refractory allergic condition. Second, how does Eglis work? Unlike traditional immune suppressants, Eglis specifically targets interleukin-13 a key cytokine that drives inflammation, itch, and skin barrier dysfunction in atopic dermatitis. Amgus is a monoclonal antibody that binds to interleukin-13 and blocks its ability to signal through the interleukin-4 and interleukin-13 receptor complex, which plays a central role in allergic inflammation. By doing this, Amgus reduces the release of pro-inflammatory cytokines chemokines, and IgE, which is the antibody associated with allergic diseases. This targeted mechanism helps control atopic dermatitis without broadly suppressing the immune system. Third, let's talk about dosing. Ebglas is given as a subcutaneous injection using either a pre-filled pen or syringe. The starting dose is two of 250 mg injections at both week zero and week two, for a total of 500 mg each time. After that, the standard dosing is 250 mg every two weeks. Once an adequate clinical response is achieved, either at or after week 16, patient may be able to switch 250 mg every four weeks depending on their provider's guidance. Unlike some other interleukin-4, interleukin-13 targeting biologics, no dose adjustment is needed based on age or body weight. And after proper training, Eglis can be self-administered at home, offering patients both flexibility and convenience. Fourth, how effective is it? This is one of the most common questions I get about Eglis, especially since there are other biologics that also targeting interleukin-4 and interleukin-13. So how does a selective interleukin-13 blocker like Abiglas compare? In the Advocate 1 and Advocate 2 phase 3 clinical trials, Abiglas achieved impressive results. A significant number of patients achieved clear or almost clear skin based on so-called IgA scores, as well as EZ75, which represent a 75% reduction in eczema area and severity. Furthermore, many patients saw meaningful improvements in itch, one of the most burdensome symptoms. And what's even more encouraging is the early onset of medication benefit, with improvements in skin may be seen as early as week two or week four. While there's no direct head-to-head -head comparison with dual interleukin-4, interleukin-13 blockers, Mglis has shown that targeting interleukin-13 alone can provide robust and sustained clinical benefit. This finding support that the central role of interleukin-13 in driving the inflammation seen in atopic dermatitis. And finally, how about side effects? The most commonly reported ones include injection side reactions, conjunctivitis, and occasional cases of shingles. Injection side reactions typically decrease over time and were generally mild to moderate and recovered without medication discontinuation. Conjunctivitis and keratitis were also more frequently reported in patients receiving Abgus 
compared to those receiving placebo. Most cases were mild to moderate and resolved without treatment interruption or discontinuation. Similar eye-related side effects have been seen with other biologics targeting this pathway, although the inhibition of only interleukin-13 appears to be at the lower incidence and severity of conjunctivitis than the inhibition of both interleukin-13 and interleukin-4 signaling. More rarely, hypersensitivity reactions such as swelling or hives have been reported after administration of agulus. If a serious hypersensitivity reaction happens, agulus should be stopped immediately with medical treatment started. As always, patients should promptly report eye pain, vision changes, or signs of allergic reaction to their provider. But overall, Adverse has shown a favorable safety profile, making it a strong option for long-term management of moderate to severe atomic dermatitis. And there we have it, five essential facts about Adverse, a next-generation interleukin-13 blocker that offers targeted relief for atomic dermatitis with flexible dosing, early onset action, and a reassuring safety profile. If you find this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts or experience in the comments. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more evidence-based updates right here on Medition. See you next time.